up guys baby it's your girl joy back with another banger it is very early in the morning it's very early very early <laughs> it is what 6 23 i probably got here at 6 12 been turning on all the lights and trying to get my mind right so i'm here like two hours before school starts uh, and it seems like even that is not enough time. So I hope you guys are doing great on this Wednesday, March 2nd. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have said the date because, you know, you know <laughs> it'll be March 30th. <laughs> so Black History Month, month is over and our project is still not done. I didn't think that it would take the kids this long to work on a project so I'm gonna try my best to put it together so I'm still putting it up what what I'm gonna be showcasing the kids work and what they've done and things that they've learned yes yes I am and so what I'm going to do is hold on let me show you let me show you calm down calm down let me take you outside in the hallway okay and I'm also in my feelings a little bit I'll tell y'all about that in a second. So, one of my students, she drew her, and we're still adding the hair. I don't know, it's kind of popping off the wall, so they may have something to say. Oh, well. Um, so, we still, I'm still building the hair. So, I got my glue gun and stuff over there getting uh, warmed up because there's no outlet on this side. So we have Black History Month. So I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna take this down, right? Baby, I'm about to do 365. Mm -hmm. I'm about to draw out 365. This is my quote I put up yesterday. So I gotta change the date. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to draw out 365. And when my first little class comes in here, I'm gonna have them color it in. So I usually, you know, sketch it out, do the black, and I have the students color. And I put 365. So, yes, so hope that's not a problem because I still want to showcase the students' work. So, you know, it was, we had off a whole week in February. So, it, the timing was just off, or maybe I should have planned a little better. So, I, my bad, but still. Anyway, I mean, they, st they grade teachers too. You know, we get graded on, you know, whatever. But the one thing I don't like is that they'll come in in the middle of your lesson or the end of your lesson. Or they'll come in at the beginning and only stay 15 minutes. And they're going to judge you on that little chunk. And so if you get a not so favorable review, they be like, but you ain't see what I did before. Or you didn't see what I did after. I think that's kind of hard on teachers. Um, especially when you know what you do give out. Or when they compare you to another teacher. Which happened to me. I'm not that teacher. And on that particular day the class was quiet. It didn't mean they didn't understand or get the lesson. It just wasn't, you know, a hyped up lesson maybe like the other teacher was. Um, you know, maybe the other teacher has a different gift. My gift is different. Uh, the other teacher and I are like night and day. Literally night and day. But my data and my test scores prove that my students got the lesson. There were uh, three kids who were not successful. One kid, she was right that she had 68 and she was upset. And the two who didn't do well, those are the two I expected wouldn't do well. And... But everybody else, 100s, 80s, nothing lower than an 80, you know, besides those three. Nothing lower than an 80. So my data shows that majority of the class got it. Majority of all my students got it. But that day you came in, you know, kids were reading and I was doing little small groups. But nobody saw that, though. Nobody saw my small group that I was pulling. Because we said when you have the kids reading or whatever, then you should be conferring with your students. 
that's what I was doing. So it's like, what, what do you want? Every day, some days my lesson is boring. Some days my lesson is off the chain and it's exciting. Some days I'm really into it and to see my class is more comedy. That's my class. A funny teacher. I'm not, you know, ooh. It, it has its moments. I have my moments and that day I was trying to prepare them for the test. Come on, come on. These are the questions. Come on. So that's what it was. And I was calling on my quiet students, the ones who don't speak. So my strategy was different that day. And I'm going to just be honest. It was the worst review I've ever had. It was the worst review I've ever had. It was the worst review I've ever had in my teaching career. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I'm kind of, you know, that kind of was like, bruh, what? What? Every class is not exciting. I, and, and me, I tell you right now, I'm not doing dog and pony show for nobody. Nobody. I am who I am. And that's why more than half the school want to be in my class. In my class. In my class. In my class. And so my thing is about building those relationships and stuff like that with the students. It's about the lesson, but I think that the relationships you build with the students also matter. Because half the time, they're not going to remember this stuff, most of this stuff. But they're going to remember how that teacher made them feel. You know, that lasts forever. Just like someone who's bullied for years and years. 20, 30 years later, next thing you know, you see them on some type of talk show and they talking about, you know, how they felt <laughs> throughout high school and middle school, how people treated them. They remember that. Or they'll remember that teacher who took the time and who did this. They don't remember, oh, well, the coordinating conjunction of the subjective verb and the blah, 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 blah and uh, the, the compound complex and the, uh, they ain't gonna remember that. Because let me tell you, when I started teaching, I had to refresh my memory. That's what I had to do. I didn't, I didn't remember any of that. Facts. But once, you know, I'm teaching it, yeah, it comes back. And for me, it sticks. And for the kids, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Ooh, Lord, it's like I've never, never said anything. But anyway. I was just in my feelings. You know, I'm a, more of a reflective person. I think about it. And sometimes I like to write or type. My response, even if I'm arguing, mm -mm, I need to think it because I'm not good with the, the comebacks, with the comebacks real, you know, quick. I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm like, you know, like after the meeting or after you have the discussion with somebody, you be like, dang, I should have said that. Dang, I should have said that. Ugh. So I'm one of those people. And after I think I was reflecting on the meeting, on my feedback, and I was like, but I'm not that person. But my data shows that the kids... They got it. wasn't Maybe it wasn't as exciting as the other teacher and how they presented it. But then there are other classes where my class is off the chain. And we having a good time and they're learning and it's loud. It was just, maybe it was the way the moon was wrapped around the tree or something like that. Who knows? Or maybe it was your presence that made everybody quiet. Who knows? But I'm one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do a dog and pony show. I was still doing. They was listening to an audio book. For the context. Because I wanted to take the question from, questions from their test. And apply it to the story. And I didn't trust them to read that long story on their own. And what I was doing while they were listening to the story. Because I don't listen to it 59,000 times. I was meeting with other students about a writing piece. That's what I was doing. So it wasn't about stopping the story and, you know, the, no, that, I wasn't doing that. Because that, that wasn't what my lesson and my goal was about. My goal was to prepare them for the test. So I just wanted to go over the questions, but I want them to have some type of context to apply those questions to. But when they took their test, it was going to be a different story, but the same questions. So that was my goal. It wasn't really about the story and stopping it. It wasn't. So, and like I said, my data shows my baby's got it. And every lesson is not going to be exciting. You know, I'm like out of the five days, you might have maybe two 
two lessons, maybe three. That's exciting. And one time I was in here being reviewed. She was in here, you know, taking her little notes. Rob, you gonna write what you want, child? It, it's the class seemed like chaos. It was loud. It was laughter, but it was all based on a lesson. It was crazy. But is every class like that? Absolutely not. It's not. And you know, some lessons just gonna be corny. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a human being. I'm not a machine. I'm not going to be trying to get up and be a clown every day. No, <laughs> most of the time, but not every day. Okay. You know, so anyway, anyway, <laughs> and now I'm teaching these babies how to write a literary analysis. Okay. I'm more of a writer. You're going to be writing and you're going to think. They was like, Miss Bella. I said, no, because science, I feel as though science it, for their level. You're not trying to create the next d d d cure for diabetes or whatever, you know. So for science that they learn, it's black and white. There's an answer. They're teaching you how to do X, Y, and Z. You're going to get the answer. Math, black and white. You're going to, there is an answer. You may not understand how to get the answer, but there's an answer. History, black and white. It already happened. You better memorize all of that and figure out why did it happen based on what you read. Now, here you go with language arts and reading. Now, that's a different story because it can be subjective. It can be based on how you feel about something. It's based on the words that you choose to create something. It's more creative and you have to think about it. There is going to be an answer or your point of view, but you got to prove your point of view. It's not always black and white. That's when you have to think and you have to create. You have to analyze a piece of text and you have to create. It's totally different from the other core subjects. So, you know, so you, you can't compare language arts to, that's my opinion, because it's not black and white. It's the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> where you're able to get creative with your words but you just have to prove your point of view with great evidence you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying because the, the other um seventh grade teacher one day we were analyzing a poem based on my background knowledge and how i grew up i was like no that character is dead you know it was a poem i look at it as she did and then she was like no she's not dead i said no based on what she said or the author said here here and here she did she did mm -mm, she did <laughs> and then but for her the character wasn't dead based on her life experiences. You know, she grew up in a totally different environment than I did. She grew up in a Christian household. I grew up dodging bullets in Brooklyn. So my point of view and the way I think about it, mm -mm. but although we had different perspectives when it came down to the test, there was an answer for the test or you have to choose the best answer for the question. So anyway, let me stop. Let me get, let me write my 365 and draw my 365, honey, because that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. And then we're going to throw in some more women because they're women in the black history. That's Women's History Month. So it's Black History 365 plus women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can keep growing the list with, you know, women and more women in history. So we are going to, so I'm going to put this together. This is what the kids, it's like a quilt. So all these pieces will come together and it fits together like a puzzle. See? So it'll go together like a honeycomb. Yeah, that's what it kind of looks more like. So I got to start to put this thing together. Make my nerves bad, but first of all, my lady outside needs a little more hair. You know, go big or go home. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me show you my outfit today. I've worn this before, so it is what it is. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye, y'all.